Hello there and welcome to EDL 689 Educational Leadership Literature Review. Um, I'm your instructor for the course, Michael Barber, and I want to take you through the syllabus in a fairly detailed way uh, today. As you get ready to take this course, uh, we'll talk a little bit about it in class, but in class I'll go through it in uh, a much briefer fashion, sort of just hitting on the highlights. I want to do a more detailed job of it now so that um, you're essentially ready, prepared, so that when we get to that first class, uh, you're really ready to go. Uh, the first thing that I will mention as you're looking at this uh, particular document is this little notation up here at the top um, that you know the syllabus essentially is a plan but depending upon how the semester rolls out there are chances that we may need to change this plan um, as you know this is a spring semester course which essentially means that we have to work our way through the months of January, February, March, and April, although April tends not to be a, a weather month that we need to be concerned about. Um, but as you well know, the weather can be quite unpredictable during January, February, and March. And while as it stands right now, the current plan is for us to meet 10 out of the 13 classes, if we were to miss a class throughout the semester, that would necessitate us essentially having to meet during one of those classes when we were originally not scheduled to meet. So, um, and I'll talk a little bit about this and provide some examples of it uh, below when I get to the schedule, but for those of you that may need to make arrangements for um, you know, with your administrator to be able to leave the building right at time so you can make it the class on time or for those of you that need to make arrangements for child care, I would recommend that you have those arrangements in place for all 13 classes and then as we sort of work our way through the schedule if there are one or more of them that we don't actually meet then at least you had those things in place to allow you to come if that were you know the case um, so what I would do again I would make those um, accommodations or those arrangements for all 13 weeks and then if it happens that you don't need them you'll know at least a week in advance that you don't need those um, those arrangements so that way you can sort of cancel them or let your administrator know that um, you know you that you don't need to leave um, the other thing that I want to point out here on this first page is, as you can see, all of my contact information is here at the top. Um, feel free to reach out to me in any of those particular mediums. I will recommend email as probably being the most uh, convenient way to get a hold of me in the way in which you will likely get the fastest response. Um, you also note that uh, my official office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays immediately before my two sections of EDL 689. Or if you aren't available during that period of time, then we can uh, essentially make an appointment at other times. And depending upon where uh, you're coming from in the state, in some cases it may be mutually advantageous for us to meet at Oakview. In other cases it may be uh, more convenient for us to meet at a uh, coffee shop like Starbucks or, or Dunkin Donuts or something um, somewhere between where you're coming from and where I'm coming from. Um, note that our class is actually on Wednesdays uh, 4.30 to 7.10 and it is located in 182 Oakview uh, which is on the first floor of the Oakview building so when you come in if you sort of start to continue your way into the back um, kind of right hand corner of the building that's where you're going to head uh, for that first class and our first meeting is going to be Wednesday January 27th um, so moving through you'll note that uh, you know the course description and the course outcomes are here as well as the research course sequence now I want to talk a little bit about the research course sequence so essentially there is a three course thesis sequence that you are now embarking upon. The first course in that sequence is 689, the Educational Leadership Literature Review course, and in that course essentially you are going to construct what will become chapter two of your eventual thesis. Now obviously 
it won't be the final draft of your chapter two. You're going to continue to revise that throughout the entire process, but essentially you will have a complete and a almost final draft of chapter two by the time you finish this course. The second course that you will take is EDL 690, Educational Research Seminar. In that course, essentially, you are gaining a background in the research methodologies, the data collection methods, the methods of data analysis that you will need in order to actually plan out and eventually conduct a research study. Um, the outcomes for that course will have you essentially writing what will become chapters one and three of your eventual thesis. So in the first two courses you will do initially chapter two of your thesis and then you will do chapters one and three of your thesis. So by the time you finish 690 you will have the first three chapters of your thesis completed. The third course in that sequence is EDL 691 which is just titled Thesis Seminar. Um, essentially what that is is we will do a little more work on looking at collecting data and actually implementing your research study because essentially during 691 that is when you will be actually c collecting data for your thesis you'll be analyzing that data you'll be writing up that uh, those results in chapter four and then you'll be concluding the study and recommending implications for practice as well as suggestions for future research in chapter five so in 691 you'll actually be doing chapters four and five so that by the end of this three course or 12 month sequence you will have your entire thesis, all five chapters, completed. Uh, so for those of you that are starting here now in the spring semester, you will do 690 during one of the summer semesters, and you will do 691 during the fall semester. Um, continuing on, you'll note that the textbook for the course is Fink's Conducting Research Literature Reviews from the Internet to Paper. Um, the fourth edition is the one that I've recommended. There is a fifth edition that is out. In all honesty, the third edition is almost as good. So if you have access to or are able to get the third, fourth, or fifth edition for cheap, I would recommend that any of those three editions are perfectly acceptable. So again, the third, fourth, and fifth, and you know whichever one you're able to obtain, um, at you know the price that is right for you that would be fine there's another one that's recommended there and both of these are available through the Sacred Heart University uh, bookstore um, the recommended one is one that in all honesty in past semesters it has been a required text but um, it's been one that students, some students have found it really useful, other students have found it not that useful at all. So because of that, I've moved it into the recommended category. Um, what I suggest that you do is I'll have copies of these during the first class so that you can sort of size them up and see what they look like. And if it looks like something you think may be useful to you, then it might be worth uh, you know picking up a copy. But if it doesn't look like it's going to be all that useful to you, then that's perfectly fine as well. There will be some other readings that are available in Blackboard for you. Um, and I'll have all of the PDFs of those should actually already be in Blackboard right now. So continuing on, you're looking through here now the different event ways in which you're going to be evaluated. I'll have a little bit more to say about each of these when we get to them. But, um, you know, this gives you sort of an initial introduction, and when we get to the schedule uh, following this, you'll see when they're all due. But the first assignment is going to be a literature search strategy, which is a very short assignment that's more designed to essentially get you into the literature. The journal article review is a way of formally reviewing uh, two articles, one that's quantitative in nature, or that uses quantitative data. Uh, one that uses qualitative data. Uh, so those are the two, and essentially it's going to be a very structured, but also, if you know, very short. 350 to 500 words is about a page to a page and a half. Moving on, the next assignment is the annotated bibliography. Uh, and you'll note that all of these here are, in terms of value, are relatively light. The annotated bibliography, again, is something that is designed to get you into the literature in a systematic way 
and to essentially help prepare you, uh, giving you essentially the data or the evidence that you need for your literature review. The main assignment for this course, obviously, is the literature review, which is your chapter two for your thesis. And then there are some activities that we will do either in class or online uh, that won't be graded individually, but you will essentially get a, a grade at the end of the course for that. Note some of the assignment notes that are here, as well as some of the course policies. Some of these are consistent that you should probably see in every syllabus that you get. Uh, others are specific to this course. Uh, one that I will point out, um, if you do have a, a specific learning need or a disability, I would encourage you to contact our Office of Special Learning Services and uh, you know register um, what accommodations you may need with them and they will get in contact with me and I'm more than happy to work with you and the center or sorry and the office to um, you know make whatever accommodations we need to in order for you to have success in this course uh, some information there about the academic integrity policy about plagiarism the free and open exchange of ideas so moving on now to the class schedule. Um, you'll see here the first class that we have is on Wednesday, the 27th of January. You'll note that there's a reading that's been posted in Blackboard uh, that is required for that first class. So make sure that you have that particular um, article read prior to class because we're going to be talking about that in class. And I'm actually going to be sort of going over it in terms of um, how that plays out with your overall thesis and the very steps that you would have um, throughout that process. So the second class is on Wednesday, February 3rd. You'll note that that class begins at 5 p.m. and we are actually meeting in the library. Um, one of the Sacred Heart librarians is going to be there and she's going to take us through all of the different um, databases that you can search from uh, when you're looking at um, you know the various um, pieces of literature that you're trying to find. You'll also note that that's the week that the first chapter of the Fink textbook is due, or at least the first chapter of the Fink textbook. Uh, you should have it read at that stage. Um, so that essentially means that by that point in time you need to make sure that you've got uh, a copy of the Fink textbook um, prior to that second week. Now in terms of that class, the reason we're starting at 5 p.m. instead of 4.30 is because unlike Oakview, um, parking can be quite challenging on main campus. And um, so the extra time is built in to allow you to find parking if it is necessary. Or what you can also do is there is a shuttle that goes between Oakview and main campus. That shuttle runs at about quarter after and quarter two, so around 4.15 and 4.45. If you get on the 4.15 one, it will get you to main campus or at least drop you off in front of the main academic building um, around 4.30. If you catch the one that arrives at about 4.45, it will drop you off in front of the main academic building at exactly 5 o'clock. It is about a five or six minute walk from the front of the main academic building to the main library. And when we have class on um, the 27th, I'll sort of bring up a map and sort of show you where the library is and, and where our classroom will be in there. Um, so to be on the safe side, if you're taking the shuttle, it would be ideal if you were to catch the 415 one. Um, otherwise, I would recommend trying to find parking on main campus, although as I mentioned, that can be quite challenging at times. Our third class is on the um, 10th of February, and you'll note that that's when the first assignment is due. Uh, the Literature Research Search Strategies assignment is due in that class, and then you'll note on the 17th, the journal article reviews are due, and then on the 24th, the uh, annotated bibliography is due. Now these three things are essentially designed to get you ready to be able to write your literature review and you'll note that they come pretty early in the course so that way you have a fair amount of time in the course to focus specifically upon writing your chapter two or your literature review. Um, so we meet again on March 2nd 
That's class number six. And as it stands right now, for class number seven, which is March 9th, we aren't scheduled to meet on that particular class. Although, obviously, if we were to miss one of the first six classes due to weather or some other extenuating circumstances, um, we would obviously need to meet during that seventh class. Um, so, and... Obviously, I will advise you whenever we find out about that. So if we were to lose class, say, on the 17th of February, we would know from right from the 17th that we would be meeting on the 9th. Um, you know, so you'd have at least a few weeks' notice. The only way you wouldn't have more than a week's notice is if we happened to have a snowstorm on the 2nd of March and we were lost that class. But even then, you would still have a full week's notice before the next class. Now, the logic in the way in which we've got these classes set up is that you'll note that on the 16th is when the initial draft of your literature reviews do. Now, by initial draft, what I mean is the first 8 to 12 pages, so essentially the first half or so of your 20 to 25 pages that the literature review should be. Um, so the reason why we're not meeting right now, at least, um, or the plan is to not meet on the 9th, is to give you that additional time to focus upon writing those first 8 to 12 pages. You'll note then we don't, or we at least we aren't planning on meeting on the 23rd of March because the goal is by March 30th that you would have the first complete draft. So essentially the first draft of all 20 to 25 pages of your literature review completed by then. And then you'll note we meet on the 30th, we uh, meet on the 6th, but the week of the 13th, um, we aren't scheduled to meet right now during that week. Um, and what I've said there is schedule individual meetings, and that should be as necessary. So when you submit your complete draft to me up here on the 30th, I should have it back to you at least by the time we meet on the 6th. If between the 6th and when we were to meet again that week of, I think it's 11 through 15 April, you are recognizing that you're just not being able to you know, make any progress on getting the revisions done that I've been asking for. You know, Essentially, you're struggling to work on that literature review. If that's the case, I would strongly recommend that you do schedule an individual meeting during this particular week here uh, for you and I to sit down and figure it out because we meet again on the 20th and that's the final meeting and that's when your final literature review is due. Uh, so this is when the final draft and it's not going to be the final draft for your overall thesis but it will be the final draft for this course and it will be close to the final draft for your thesis. Um, the final thing that we've got here in the syllabus is a series of resources. These are essentially other books that are related to writing literature reviews. These are other books that I consulted as I created the syllabus and essentially the course content for 689. And, um, you know, so I share them here with you because, you know, if you want to check them out from our library or get them through Interlibrary Loan or um, you know, see how much they are on Amazon if you think they may be useful to you. Um, I, again, offer them here as resources for you that you can use if you feel the need to. So that's essentially a detailed um, review of the, the syllabus. During class, on that first class on Wednesday, the 27th of January, I'll go through and hit some of the highlights of this. Um, but for the most part, this is going to be the most detailed review of the thesis that you will have. So I would strongly recommend that um, you know when you come to class on the 27th, you should have um, any questions that you've got about the, the syllabus ready then. Or for that matter, if you do have ones between now and then that you'd like me to respond to, feel free to contact me at one of the ways listed at the top of the syllabus, and uh, I'll respond um, as I hear from you. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you all on Wednesday, the 27th of January. Thank you.